Well, everyone is feeling the stress and anxiety of not only the pandemic, but everything it comes with. That includes teens and children, as many of them are now back in school. So how do you raise children who are resilient in these challenging times? Joining us with some strategies for parents is Dr. Robin Hanley Defoe. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure to be here. Thank you. You know, I know that you've partnered with Scouts Canada for this, and it's a free guide that you are offering to parents. Before we get into some of the strategies, tell me a little bit about how this partnership came about and why it's so important to have these strategies. So I'm a huge advocate of Scouting Canada. I just think it's something where that they're putting forward an accessible resource. They're making this available to persons and families all across our country. When I look at when we have initiatives that actually help with social justice, where this is something that it's going to be free for families coming up, uh, which is really significant. So that's why I got on board. And I also believe wholeheartedly that being outside and taking part in scouting is actually really important for children and adolescent resiliency. It's something that we really need to foster and cultivate. So tell me about some of these strategies now that parents can learn from this online guide. Excellent. Okay, so what we're really thinking about and how we've structured this guide is we divided it essentially by age groups. So what resiliency looks like, for example, in toddlerhood is going to look different in adolescence. So what we've done is kind of pulled out some of those best practices or wise practices on what we can be doing as grown-ups to support our children at these different phases and stages. So I can give you a couple examples. So when we're working with little ones, one of the things that we want to do is give them the opportunity to get outside, to explore, to foster this idea of creativity and problem solving. We know as soon as all of us, even adults, we go outside, we experience a sense of abundance. It gives us just this limitless sense that we can do really great things. So what we've tried to do is create structure to give parents tools on how they can promote this within their household. You know, when you talk about resiliency, I know that you've actually done this with business professionals since the pandemic. Tell me about the difference between uh, that advice for parents versus that advice for kids. Is it different? I think it is a wee bit different in the sense that parenting is heavy heart work. And we're, our work in organizations and businesses, it's heavy work as well. But there's another level to this when it's your own family system and it's the little ones that you're in charge of. So this really also helps us understand that the fact that being a good parent, it's really effortful. It takes a lot of resources from us. So I think it touches on some of those other sides of that hard work that we have to do as parents to be able to cultivate and create environments where our children feel safe, but they also are supported but we're not always rescuing. We're giving them some of that latitude and freedom to take some risks, obviously mitigating danger, but we want our little ones to actually be healthy risk takers. And scouting is a great example of how we can do that. You know, you often hear parents say, you know, children are resilient and, and they obviously are. What has your experience been with kids who are? Yeah, so what I see with children who are resilient is that they just get to have a different way of walking in the world. They understand that things don't have to always be perfect. I see children who are resilient that accept that failure or even failing forward is normal. It's part of development. When I see and I work with families and children who are struggling with resiliency, the weight of the world feels very heavy. Things feel very big. And it's not to suggest that children aren't able to navigate that, but it's this idea that resilient children have tools. They have coping strategies that they can lean into. They know when to use their tools and they're able to make sure that they can get some solid footing in situations where they might actually feel a little bit wobbly. Wow, this is really good information. I should also mention, don't you have a webinar as well that's also available that's free? We do. We have a family uh, webinar that's happening on October 18th, and it's open to everyone. Anyone is welcome. And I encourage all our grown-ups, all our supporters, for if you have little ones in your world that you want to make sure that you can do what you can do to help them get onto a positive trajectory and understand resiliency in a really practical way, uh, please join us for that webinar. It is on October 18th. All of the registration for that will start tomorrow on October 1st. The guide will be launching October 1st as well. And what we really want to be doing is putting tools into the hands of persons so that way that they can do the best they can to support the ones that they care about. You know, we can all use help right now in whatever capacity. The fact that this guide exists for free. Thank you, by the way, for partnering with Scouts Canada to make this happen. Uh, you can head to Scouts Canada's website. It's called Guide to Resilient Children. It's online. It's free. It launches tomorrow. Dr. Robin Hanley-Defoe, thank you for joining us.